Hello everyone, welcome to TeamHackLife.com. Today I'm going to talk to you about the top 13 gray man skills to learn that actually works. I'm hearing more and more of the gray man concept these days. Because of the geopolitical climate, people are adopting the gray man lifestyle in case of an SHTF disaster scenario. The thing that many of these people are missing is that it takes more than wearing a gray hoodie and keeping your head down if they want to be a gray man. It's all about blending into a crowd or a specific area. I'm certainly no expert on the gray man concept, but I did do a lot of research on it, and this is what I found out. So here's a list of some of the 13 best gray man skills you should learn. Number one, walk, don't run in an urban environment. This gray man skill of walking and not running is apparent. If you're walking on a downtown street, would you notice a person running more than a person that is walking at the same pace as everyone else? Of course you would. The answer would be that you're going to notice the person that is running. Everyone will see them. When you're in an urban setting, you need to slow down. One thing you could do to avoid being noticed is strolling with your cell phone, since it gives you something to focus on. And of course, you would be blending in quite well since everyone around you will, will most likely also be looking down at their cell phones and not really watching where they're going or who's around them. Just try not to get hit by a car. If you believe that someone is following you, you can slow down and make as though you're reading or watching something on your phone. What you're really doing is looking around at your surroundings and making sure you have an exit plan. Number two, look non-tactical. If you have the means to defend yourself and enter into a combat situation, it would be prudent not to be tactically decked out. Looking even the slightest tactical gives you away and makes you stand out. This applies if there is an SHTF disaster that happens and you're now in a post-apocalyptic world. You don't want to appear threatening to anyone. You can still be bulletproof without wearing a bulletproof vest. I was reading an article the other day about the new type of bulletproof backpacks. The backpack looks just like an ordinary black or pink backpack. The people who made this bulletproof backpack primarily built it for kids to have in school for protection in case there is an unfortunate event of a school shooting. Just try to wear things that don't make you look like someone coming out of a SWAT team truck and you should be fine. I'll have a link to that backpack in the description below. Just a quick pause, if you like this type of content and you want to see more, consider subscribing to my channel. Number 3. Not creating any stimulus in anyone. Try your best not to create any stimulus in anyone when they see you. What I mean by that is try not to wear something that seems out of place or that is too bright. You don't want to have something on you that someone will see and immediately associate with something they remember. If they remember what they associate you with, they will most definitely remember you also. It's not always easy to not create stimulus in someone when they see you walking down a street, but if you blend in as best you can, you should be fine. Also, don't wear any identifying logos that someone could point out with either like or dislike because they will probably remember the emblem after they see you. For example, if you wear a Boston Red Sox hat, a Yankee fan would obviously notice you. But on the other side of the coin, if someone is a Red Sox fan, seeing your hat might well strike up a conversation. Mission failed. Number 4. Be in character. Some will say that the only way to become a grey man is to adopt the lifestyle and become a grey man exclusively. I would disagree with that because how boring would life be if you were in a constant state of camouflage? The best way I would suggest in becoming a grey man is for that to be a character you play, a disguise you have that you can use if you need to move around undetected. I find it easier to stay in character when you have a specific disguise for the task you're going to take on. Only wear that disguise when you're going to be in your grey man character. Number 5. Don't make yourself look weak. Making yourself look strong and aggressive might put a target on your back, but looking weak will put an even more significant mark on you. Try not to look like you could be an easy target for someone to attack and rob you of your belongings. During Hurricane Katrina, there were a lot of people that were robbed while bugging out because it was obvious they had their most valuable items with them to bring to their next location. Number 6. Learn how to keep quiet. One skill you need to learn to become a grey man is to be quiet about all of your bug out or bug in plans. Never share that information with people you wouldn't want around you if a disaster strikes. 
You do not want the entire neighborhood going into your emergency shelter or your bug out locations. Keeping this information from your children is also not a bad idea. You might trust your children with your life, but kids can be erratic at the best of times. You never know what they will divulge to their best friends. The risk is too significant to be talking about how smart you are to be preparing for a possible SHTF situation. Prepare your kids for such events, but there is no need to tell them everything before there is a disaster situation. Number 7. At Home Gray Man Skills There are many Gray Man skills you can adopt right in your own home. One Gray Man tip I would tell you is to be discreet when buying large expensive items. People notice those kinds of things when big boxes are sitting in the trash pile showing everyone your latest purchases. Bring the boxes to a recycling bin so no one knows it was for you. If you're having an item shipped to your home and you don't want anyone to see that you're regularly buying things for prepping purposes, you should have it delivered somewhere else. A private mailbox that is away from your home could be an option. You can also have it shipped to your work and act as if it's something work related if possible. You should also cut off your address and information labels from the boxes you receive by mail so no one can trace it back to your home. This might sound like paranoia, but the reality is that a good number of people are inherently jealous and nosy. Number 8. Be aware of the noise you make. People usually overlook the category of scent and noise as determining factors of drawing attention to themselves. You can easily give away your location when making unnecessary noise, which can cause anyone around you to notice you and make a note of your presence. Try not to wear items that makes high-pitched noise while walking. A keychain would be the best example of this scenario. There are certain types of keychains you can buy that makes no noise whatsoever. They are designed for this type of situation. I'll have a link in the description below of such quiet keychains from Amazon. Number 9. Keep your scent under control. There are certain popular scents of cologne and perfumes that could trigger memories of the past in some people. If this happens, they would certainly notice and remember you. Cologne and perfume are quickly going out of style anyway, so this would indeed not be something too complicated to give up. You can also buy scent-free underarm deodorant and body wash that would make you virtually invisible scent-wise. Don't forget about aftershave. You can also buy those with a scent-free option. Number 10. Gray Man Concept in Personal Security Situational awareness is critical when it comes to the Gray Man Concept in Personal Security. The skill of situational awareness should be developed and utilized when you're in tune with your environment. This skill is not just recognizing the fact that there are buildings around you, but determining whether the premises are likely to be unoccupied or inhabited. Take notice of things such as available points of entry and exits of each building in case someone is following you. Number 11. Not too fast, not too slow. If you're traveling to a location where there is a significant number of people around you, you should not walk too fast or too slow because people will notice you. You also don't want to walk beside the same person for any amount of time. This can be avoided by walking just slightly slower than the crowd. All of this helps takes the focus off you in a crowded area, but you will need to use your situational awareness if you're in a desolate area. Number 12. Pretending like you're supposed to be there. Pretending like you're supposed to be in an area will limit the number of people noticing your presence. If you look like a tourist, you might be opening yourself to a potential mugging or worse, a kidnapping. Acting and thinking like you're a local will make it so you don't look out of place. The gray man skill of pretending like you're supposed to be there can be done by adjusting your clothing and grooming style so it coincides with the people in the area. There is no need to panic if you're in a visible minority. All you need to do if you don't look like the locals are to adopt the behavior and customs of the society. Walk with your shoulders back and appear confident and comfortable and no one should suspect a thing. Number 13. The Gray Man Skill of Strategic Avoidance One of the most critical Gray Man skill is strategic avoidance. What this means is not to put yourself in unnecessary danger. Avoid putting yourself in the path of confrontation with an unknown person. You should always stay on the safer, well-lit routes when possible. You might have to take a slightly longer route, but it is much safer to stay among the crowd versus taking shortcuts. Try to avoid being alone in an unknown and possibly dangerous area. Becoming a gray man is not a skill you learn in a short period of time. Learning some gray man skills takes time and determination. If you live in a world where you fear being followed or if you end up in a post-SHTF world, 
then becoming a grey man could become a top priority. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments below what you think the best grey man skill is and if I missed anything, I would really love to hear from you on any skills that you think that is essential in becoming a grey man. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you consider subscribing to my channel if you like this type of content.